yeah, it should go better. Alright, and hello everyone, and welcome to another part of my epic monster hunting trilogy thingy. This time we're fighting the blind waver and, um... <laughs> I might actually have to check what it's called, jeez. Uh, I don't, um... I don't remember what this thing's called at all. Hey, what are you called? You're called a Kezu. That one is probably specific for this game because I've never seen one before in all my other Monster Hunter experiences. Though it might have show up in some other games, it certainly doesn't show up in Monster Hunter 1 or 3 because I basically... I basically almost completely played through those, like... With the exception of maybe some of the endgame content that I wasn't that necessary. Wow, the cat's already stunned. Uh, oops. Well, that was dumb. That was dumb of me. But yeah, have better equipment. And I, w I was getting distracted by chat. Something not really good to do when, you ha when you're doing Monster Hunter. But anyways, so we tried this Wavern earlier, uh, before I had, like, a decent weapon. Um, I also didn't have the, um... Oh, shoot, shoot! Ah, that was stupid. I should've dodged the other way. I dodged right into its wing. Yeah, maybe that's why this... Maybe that's why, um... This Wavern doesn't really happen in other Monster Hunter games, because I do have to admit, it's, uh, it's, like, screaming isn't the most, um, enjoyable thing to listen to. Like, it's not really bothering me, though, um, but, I mean, you know, yeah. It'd probably be annoying to me if I was playing this game at a higher volume. And obviously, it's like a less cool version of the Poison Waver and, uh, the Giganox. Oh man, I can't wait to show that one off. I'm hoping they still have it in this game. Oh shoot, shoot, shoot! Ah, I never, I'm, it's funny, I thought with a sharper sword I'd have a better time at dodging that, but at this point, like, at least I'm getting in more hits, but because I, like, have a tendency to be, like, oof, well, at least this time I should be able to, yeah. But, um, what was I saying? Since I have a tendency to be more on top of it because, um, you know, I'm hitting it more efficiently. I'm still taking hits, but at least I'm hitting it more efficiently. Oops, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to eat before this fight. Oh, well. I, honestly, so far, I feel like this is going pretty darn well. Let's see. Wait, did I not bring along my uh, trap? That's weird. I thought I did. Portable shock trap. Oh, there is pitfall trap. Yeah. I made a spare trap, and honestly, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Come on, big beastie guy. That's not. That's not coming over here. Jerk, I'm gonna kick at you. Fuck you. Oh, no. No. Don't fly. No. I hate you. You motherfucker. Like you're, you're just running away? God damn it. Are you that weak already? Fuck, I guess I didn't need to put down the trap, but still. I'm gonna trap you. I'm gonna kick you in the dick. Freaking stupid thunder waver. Thunder Waverns are dumb. Except for the Ladgers. Ladgers is cool. But this Waver is dumb. I don't like him, and uh, he's not very sexy. And I wouldn't invite him to my birthday party, that's for sure. Let's see. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and take care of more of these guys. I usually like to try and clear out some of the... Uh, more obnoxious, like, basic enemy types like these. Oops. 
Oh, well, didn't get in quite the free hit I planned, but not really an issue. Oh, jeez, that one hurt, though. Okay, well... Still, considering he already ran away once, I honestly think I should be fine. In fact, I think I might be able to capture him. But we'll see on that. No guarantees that we'll capture this BC. But combos happened. Oops. Should have dodged that. Yeah, I'm actually not sure how this Wavern does a lot of stuff. If you guys had. I kind of forgot to mention it, but uh, it mentions in the quest description that this Wavern's blind. Which is why it doesn't have any eyes. Which means it smells and stuff, but to be fair, it doesn't really look like it has a nose either. Nice. Oh wow, going for another one, huh? Oh well. <sighs> this waiver must be taking some pretty heavy damage at this point. Which is what I love about the Great Sword. It really, like, I just, I don't know, when you do manage to get up in there and get in a bunch of combos, it feels great. Oops, then again, of course, you can be derpy like me and totally whiff some opportunities for free attacks, but oh well. It's a thing that happens. Nice. Okay. And also, blocking is satisfying in this game. There's just something that feels cool about blocking- Oh shoot, okay, I should back off. This thing is pissed. Huh. At least its radius doesn't get ridiculous, but I guess it really couldn't. The Ladris, like, um, normally it has, like, uh, let's say, a really similar shocky attack for when it's underwater. Um, but it also, like, uh, if it gets angry, the radius, like, doubles, which makes it really hard to dodge if you're too close to it when it's angry. This one, though, seems to mostly improve its damage when it's pissed, which is reason enough to go ahead and avoid it like the plague when it's all mad, when it's all being a pissy just because I'm kicking its butt. Jeez. Why do you gotta be such a bitch? I'm just, I'm just killing you. I'm just killing you. I mean, seriously, is that, is that such, is that a reason to be so, like, upset? Is it really that bad? I mean, I don't know. Uh, what a jerk. Yeah. That Volt Tackle, which I bet still hurts pretty bad. Even, uh, with my armor, which I'd say at this point's pretty decent, so, yeah, I'm, I'm like I said, avoiding it like the plague, because of old tackle, not something I want to run into. Man, I'm having a really derpy time hitting this, like, guy, <laughs> mainly because it keeps, like, unexpectedly going after my cat. Guy. Oh yeah, so I never really mentioned, but what seems one of the things that seems to be new about this game that definitely wasn't in the original, but um, has been in some of the other Monster Hunter games, you have like a companion-y thing, so... Like, at this point I have a cat, which um, you know, goes around and assists me by doing, I don't know. It does melee attacks, throw bombs at enemies, it sometimes even will use stuff that they're weak to, like, uh, sonic bombs and whatnot. But, um, you know, nothing, nothing, like, particularly awesome, but nothing, like, yeah. They're, they're useful, but not the best. Man, it's angry again already? Jeez. I assume this one had, like, this one's anger probably has, um... Well, I assume mainly its anger probably wasn't supposed to wear off between areas, but it did. So it just re it just got angry again. Because generally they, um, except for like harder waverns, they don't have too many like times where they'll get angry off of HP percentages. But I don't know. There's a chance that he does something like gets angry off of 50% health and then 25% health. 
something. Something like that. Something mathematical like that, but what do I know? I'm not a mathematician. <laughs> I'm not even the best at math. Um, but you know, I'm a chef, so I know measurements, I guess? Fuck, I don't know. Okay, I think he's calmed his- oh jeez, okay. I think he calmed his tits, maybe. And either way, I need to go ahead and uh, sharpen this thing. Uh, what is that cat doing? Oh fuck, fuck, fuck! It didn't- it didn't calm its tits at all! Oh fuck, I might go down. Okay, thank god, it changed its aggro. Whew! Okay, there we go, jeez. That was dangerous. Electric tackles, not very fun. Would not recommend getting electric tackled. Jeez, with your with your battle cries. Are you ever gonna stop being angry? I might actually have to fight him like this, but you usually don't. Usually after a period of time, the waverns will calm down. Of course, if you're uh, good at the game, you can usually take a wave one out while they're being angry, um, because it's usually based on per HP percents, but, yeah, I'd rather not. Hey, sharpening my sword in the middle of the fight might not sound like the best plan, but it sure as hell works. Huh. Um, I'm not sure. In Monster Hunter Try, you could only bring two of the companion characters to a battle. So, I don't know if you can bring more than a single cat. Oh, shoot. Ow. Uh, so much more damage when it's pissed. <sighs> I'd really like if this thing calmed down so I could kill it properly. As it is, I feel like I have to just go in and, like, tap at it. Whenever it does something like that. Oops. I am successfully tap it that time. Once again, I have to ask myself, is it calmed down? It did a... Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's down. Okay, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Nice. I think this thing's getting weaker anyways. So I might just, from the looks of it, I'm just going to have to fight it when it's angry. Not calming down very much. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm pretty sure that's how Fluttershy kills things, by telling them to calm down and then just wailing on them. Oh wait, I guess you could probably just, like, calm, tell them to calm down and snap their necks. Oh shoot. Um, he's flying off and my paintball wore off. Okay. Well, I'm thinking his nest is in three. That sounds reasonable, right? His nest is probably in three. Yeah, okay. Because that's where he started. And, I don't know. That's the most nest-type area I can personally think of, but I could be totally wrong. So, we'll see. Killing it is... it is killing it. What? I might be killing it. I, if you're asking if I'm gonna kill it, probably. I'm probably gonna end up killing it. Because I haven't noticed it limping or anything, but it might be at the HP value that I could not kill it, I'm not sure. Given his current damage percentage, I'm kind of considering maybe, um... Like, he's really likely pretty hurt. I guess I'll go ahead and put down a shock trap, yeah. <sighs> Let's see if I can go ahead and... Oh! No! Well, come on, come on, come on, come on, uh... Fuck. 
<laughs> I didn't bring anything to try and put it to sleep. Well, fantastic. I guess we're not doing that. That was stupid of me. Oh. <laughs> well, the, I guess the cat killed it. Stupid bitch. That was my kill. No, nah, I mean, I just, it doesn't really matter. Except it doesn't feel very epic when the cat kills it, but it works. Honestly, the cat wouldn't have killed it if I didn't freeze, if I hadn't fr frozen in place, so I guess it doesn't really matter. It's still overall m my effort. The cat was pretty minuscule, as, as is usual with the companions. They're useful, but honestly, they're not game changers. They're little things that can save you in a pinch sometimes, but they're not reliable. But either way, yeah, so we successfully slew our first, uh, Keizu. Um, not really much else to say about it. We, we owned it. It's dead. It was blind, and it was dumb, and it's dead.